The path to individuality has no guide. There is no map to lead the way, no estimated arrival time, and most certainly, there is no marked trailhead from which we begin our journey. The journey is marked with long stretches of uncertainty, perseverance, and the confidence in your own internal compass. The trail is known for its sharp switchbacks, the need to stay nimble, to pivot, to nurture adaptation, innovation, and cooperation with the individuals and influences that will nudge you in the right direction, that will test your mettle, that will forge ahead to give you a glimpse over the ever approaching horizon. We all navigate these obstacles on our own journeys toward individuality, whether it is personally, artistically, or even as a business building a brand identity of voice and trust. Such has been the path for Red Cat Racing. In 2005, as the owner of an ATV and motorcycle distributor in New Orleans, Darren Orman became inspired to expand the product offering of then Red Cat Motors while visiting an industry trade show in Asia. While making the rounds, he discovered a vendor selling hobby-grade RC cars. The excitement of his own childhood hobbyist pursuits immediately came rushing back, and with it, the idea of offering his customers a line of affordable RC vehicles as an add-on to sell in their motorsports shops. Red Cat Racing was born, but its maturation was to arrive in a completely unexpected manner. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina hammered the Gulf Coast, and in its aftermath, threatened to wash away Red Cat like so many other businesses, homes, and livelihoods from Florida to Texas. Their New Orleans headquarters was flooded, inaccessible, and even the remote possibility of regaining normal business operations was many months away. In a true sink or swim moment, Darren upended the company and relocated to Phoenix, Arizona. There, in the desert, the ATV and motorcycle parent company ceded to the full focus of Red Cat Racing and an ever-expanding, improving line of products developed and imported with their overseas partners. Business was great and continued to grow over the years, but something was still lacking. While the design of the cars overseas was good and the team in Phoenix was able to make incremental changes to improve performance and value, the designs were still not their own. True individuality remained an unchecked waypoint, but perhaps not for long. The Red Cat team was beginning to see what other contemporaries and customers were able to create by leaning heavily on Red Cat sourced hardware and pre-existing chassis. Taking these learnings in stride, Red Cat again forded the divide towards individuality with the 2017 release of the Everest Gen 7 scale rock crawler. While the Gen 7 was not an original Red Cat chassis, it was a fast success and stood as a company hallmark in being the first Red Cat vehicle that no other hobby company in the world could source from Red Cat's overseas factories. With the success of the Gen 7 and the growth of a purpose-built in-house design, engineering, and production team, Red Cat was primed for full maturation. Using leading-edge design and rapid prototyping technologies, Red Cat has finally distilled nearly 15 years of evolution and refinement into its first fully original vehicle designed and developed in the USA. It's true, on the path to individuality, there is no guide, but there is a scout. <laughs>